Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the part 11 of Python Pandas tutorial series. In this section, we will talk about very important functionality of Pandas object, which is group by. Group by refers to a process involving one or more following step, which is splitting, applying, and combining. In splitting, the data is divided into group or groups based on the some criteria, and applying uh, in the stage of applying. A function is applied to each of these independent groups and finally in combining stage all the results will combine into one big data frame and produce a result as output we will see all this step individually in this tutorial so without any further delay let's get started <music> The first stage of group by is splitting an object into homogeneous groups. Pandas object can be split on any of their axes. The abstract definition of grouping is to provide a mapping of label to group names. To create a group by object, you may use one of the following methods, which is first the, the pandas object, which is either a data frame or a um, series with which you can grab the group by method and this group by method basically take two arguments the key and the axis the key is nothing but the mapping and the mapping can be specified in many different ways for data frame it's either a string indicating columns okay or a string indicating an index label to be used to group and collectively we refer this grouping as keys for example here if you want to group the uh, object data frame object on the basis of one column you provide as it is if you want to pro if you want to group this on the basis of two column or two index you, you have to provide this column name or index within the list okay now the second argument is access by default the axis value is zero that means the group by operation is performed on on the basis of the column now if you want to perform this operation on the basis of rows or you, if you want to provide the key value as an index then provide axis equal to one but here we will see we will not do that thing we will use axis equal to zero only as you know we have already created a data frame which has eight rows and four columns now the next thing is that we will create a group by object when and we will call it as grouped equal to df then i will access or grab the group by method and here i will pass the first argument the key value which is a because i want to perform this group by operation or create the group on the basis of column A. We could also naturally use both the columns uh, to create the group. So instead of column A, I can use column A and B as well. Okay. Now if I will just call print grouped dot groups and run it you will see this group attribute is a dictionary whose keys are computed unique groups which is this one bar and foo and the values being the axis label axis label belongs to each group okay you can also perform the similar action for this group by object and if you you know print now it's looking a bit messy but if you arrange it you will see each of this uh, the key value of this uh, attribute groups is the unique group name and the values belongs to the index level belongs belongs to the that group only okay now here you have to notice one thing that group by will preserve always preserve the order in which the observations are sorted within the each group okay so here you can see is one three and five 
and 0 2 3 4 so order is always there we can also see the example here so what I will do here I will say print and say group dot get group and I will get the so I will pass the key of the first group which is foo uh, second group let's say foo okay and this will oops there's some error is uh, get what's the problem foo okay I forgot to provide the close the uh, string of the key foo so now you can see you are getting this thing as an output and here the order is preserved okay so now let's talk about aggregation we have done the grouping the next stage is aggregation for this once the group by object has been created several methods are available to perform to, to perform a computation on grouping data an obvious one is aggregation by a aggregate method which is equivalent to AGG so we will see the example here we create we will create the group by object here then I will say group then either I will say aggregate then within the parenthesis I will pass this uh, aggregation method which is let's say sum and if I will just say print uh, print you will see this is how it look like now as we are uh, grouping this object data frame ob object on the basis of column A and B that's why you are getting two index A and B okay and and the next item we are saying we are sum the columns rest of the columns which is C and D this is equivalent to AGG and still it will do the exact same thing okay now if you don't want this index uh, and uh, rather than index you just want this thing as a uh, as a uh, as a column then here as an argument let me copy this one and create one more block and as a next argument here you can pass uh, look sorry while you are doing this grouping thing you can pass as index equal to false now if I will just go ahead and run it oops false now if I will just go ahead and run it you will see the uh, now this group by uh, aggregation is not returning um, you know hierarchical indexing but rather creating a data frame where column A and B is respectively arranged or you can use the same thing uh, here let me create another block and while doing this aggregation or let's say AGG you say reset underscore index and then if you just go ahead and run it again uh, reset there's something wrong here what's wrong grouped aggregation or rather than np sum you can say sum that would do I guess I believe that's the problem yeah that's the problem so if you plan to use sum as it is so and then once you perform this sum method here you say reset index equal to uh, index method and it will reset the index and rather than creating hierarchical indexing it will create a data frame where first two column is is the is the key value of the group and here we have seen that you can do the aggregation by using uh, by passing a argument uh, a sum or mean to that 
aggregation or AGG method or you can you can directly grab this sum or many uh, aggregation method in one example we have seen some here but there are many more which I will provide you in the website you can go through it uh, it's very intuitive for example mean size count stand std which stands for standard deviation we are for, uh, for, for to compute uh, variance of the group similarly there are many things you can do it so this is clear I believe now let's see uh, the apply uh, how we can apply this multiple uh, aggregate apply this multiple function at once for this uh, we will create this group by object and we'll call it as grouped okay and here let's say we want to create group on the basis of column a and then here I will say group and then I will pass the column C so I want to grouped on the basis of column A and we I want to apply this function all this aggregation function on column C and here I will say AGG and within the aggregation of, uh, function I will provide a list and list I will say np dot sum which is the first argument first element of the list then I will say np dot mean which is the second element of the list and the third one is np dot std now against column a you are calculating the value of column c and the aggregation methods which you are doing is sum then mean and then standard deviation okay now how to apply different function to a data frame columns now it's just the other way around what we have done here in the previous example so here rather than applying different function to one column here we will say we will apply different function to different column and for this one we will provide a, uh, a, a dictionary as an argument to this AGG method and the dictionary's key will key will be the column value and the the value of the dictionary would be the the method which we want to perform so for example for column D I want to perform standard deviation and for column C I want to perform mean aggregation so let's pause it here and if you have any question as usual feel free to drop your questions comment in the comment section of the YouTube or else thanks for watching this video until next time cheers